At only 23 years old, Canelo Alvarez has emerged as a pop icon boxing megastar. The chance of Canelo reverberate throughout the MGM brand. His last fight was the highest grossing pay-per-view event of all time. 2.2 million homes. Yes, on March 8th, Canelo Alvarez is back. His next opponent, knockout sensation, Alfredo El Perro Angulo. Fighting. Graceful. Powerful. Precise. And dangerous. When the hand is quicker than the eye, and speed and power are triumphant, in a back and forth drama between two exceptionally talented and fiercely driven fighters, a pay-per-view event unfolds. An electric atmosphere here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. <laughs> An audience sits on the edge of their seat, each side eagerly anticipating a victory. Well, just continuing to impose his will and power. Yes, Canelo Alvarez is back. The ferocious power of Canelo Alvarez. Ready to step into the ring and face the hardest punching opponent he has ever fought. Zangulo unleashing the fury of Hades on Silva. Fellow countryman Alfredo Angulo. Angulo brings tremendous toughness and constant pressure. He never lets a fighter rest. In his last fight against Arislan de Lara, many believe it was his best performance ever, as he knocked the champion down not once, but twice. Lara, one of the most skilled fighters in the world today, had never been dropped before. Canelo Alvarez is one of the best combination, high percentage punchers in all of boxing. Against Angulo, he will have tremendous opportunity to showcase his explosive offensive attributes. Another body shot knocks Lopez down! Both men for battle. There he goes again to the body and the right hand. Motivated by Mexican pride, focused and determined to win. He rocks him with that right. Rob talks to the lever. Down goes Lopez. Toe to toe. Canelo Angulo. Saturday, March 8th, live on Showtime Pay-Per-View. Today is bigger than he ever was. He's already a supernova and a hot club in Mexico. I'm so proud of my country. It appears that he is connected with the Mexican American audience as well. I haven't seen a Mexican fight the way he has. I just like his heart. I'm ready. I was born ready. With the Mayweather fight, Canelo got a huge exposure. It was the highest grossing pay-per-view event of all time. This event sold out in less than 24 hours. This is the biggest weigh-in anyone has ever seen. Even though he didn't get, a, get away with the win over Mayweather, but then who wins against Mayweather? Nobody. I mean, Mayweather's undefeated. So I think he looks at that as a, as a learning experience. Remember, he's 23 years young. 
and a clubbing left hand and a jab from Canelo. That's the way to attack Floyd Mayweather on the ropes. Canelo Alvarez is a 23-year-old. He is a fighter who is still heading toward his prime. No, pues eh, mi derrota con Mayweather, mmm, más que afectarme, pues me enseñó muchas cosas, ¿no? Me enseñó muchas cosas, aprendí lo que es una derrota, mi primera derrota, y, y, y pues se aprenden muchas cosas. Y yo lo que siempre he dicho que no lo tomo como una derrota, sino como un aprendizaje para seguir ganando en mis peleas futuras. Oh, no, definitivamente. Yo creo que a él no le gusta perder. Eh, después de la pelea hablé con él y se veía molesto. No, no le gustaba sentirse por primera vez de esa manera. One thing about Canelo is he's very confident. Very confident young guy. I think he sees this fight as, okay, I'm handpicking this guy because I know it's going to be a war and I'm betting that my strength is better than his strength. He's saying my power is better than his power. That's a barrage of power. I'm gonna beat him, and then the world's gonna know I'm for real. Es importante. Muchos peleadores vuelven con una pelea fácil. Nosotros elegimos esta pelea, esta pelea dura porque nosotros queremos volver bien. Queremos volver bien con una pelea dura y una pelea digna para... para volver al, al, a la victoria. He believes I'm going to step right back in there against this guy who can hit hard, knock down a mule, and I'm going to stand right in there and go toe to toe with this guy and beat him. The ferocious power of Canelo Alvarez. This is his redemption fight to prove to the world that he's Canelo. Yo soy su gallo. And I'll be the guy that takes over when Mayweather is gone. He is like the definition of a Mexican fighter, always exciting, always wants to win, the will to win. Yeah, he just can't wait. He wants to go in there toe to toe. The power has proved to be too much. Canelo is back. Canelo Alvarez warming. Powerhouse superstars Canelo Alvarez and Alfredo El Perro Angulo engage in the battle of a lifetime. And they are exchanging leather in the center of the ring. In this match, there's only one way to fight. Toe. Ripping the body. Two. Right hand connects. Toe. And there is Canelo with a straight right. Canelo. Angulo. Don't miss it. Tickets on sale now. You're watching Countdown to Canelo Angulo. <laughs> Angulo's nobody to be trifled with. He's one of those guys that he grew up in a very, very rough area. He wasn't handed anything. Uh, he's been to jail. I mean, he's had death threats. He's, he's gone through it all. This is a guy that used to spar with Antonio Margarito in the very beginning when Margarito was a beast. Nobody knew who he was, and he fought those gym wars. He made himself a household name. He's done it the hard way, and uh, he's not going to let uh, Canelo walk over him. I believe that Canelo believes that he can take a, a, this guy's best punch. And he has the ability to hit you when you're not ready for it. He can punch right through you. There's just so many different types of power in boxing, but he has a debilitating type of power that he can just bone jar in, and you feel it from head to toe. And it only takes one punch. Uh, it takes that game changer and uh, to change the outcome of a fight. And Alfredo Angulo has that game changer, meaning an iron fist with a hard punch who can change the outcome of a fight with one single punch. And then you look at the heartwarming story of Alfredo Angulo and how he was detained, how he fought for freedom to come to the United States. Angulo knows that this is it. This is his moment, you know. He's, he's got the whole world watching. He's got all of Mexico watching. If Angulo would beat Canelo, K-1 
Can you imagine the implications it has for him? He would become the new Canelo in Mexico. Alfredo Nero Angulo. Well, Angulo, uh, in his last fight, really lost on a freak injury. Um, it was a typical, a classic Angulo performance. And then sheer determination, sheer power overcomes his opponent and really has him quite literally on the ropes. And then there's this freak injury that happened with his eye swelling up to the size of a, a baseball all of a sudden instantaneously. He got thumped. I mean, except for the freak injury, he's on his way to one of the biggest victories of his career. Now going upstairs, scoring on the body, Lara trying to just stave off this attack, the onslaught. Cuando fui al, al, al ring y, y enfrenté a Lara, al, al sentir los primeros golpes de Lara, yo sabía que, que él no tenía ese poder en sus manos para causarme ningún daño. It's unbelievable the fight unfolded just like we planned it. We knew the first two, three rounds would be tough, but we knew once he started stopping him, and the plan was to go to the, constantly go to the body. Battering away at the body is Angola Lara stuck on the ropes. Y a conforme iban pasando el round y la estrategia que nosotros llevábamos, Virgil. Round tras round, él me decía que, que era lo que tenían que hacer, porque ya lo habíamos trabajado en el, en el gimnasio durante todo el campamento. Y yo creo que, que todo lo que Virgil me mandó lo llevé a cabo y, y por eso íbamos ganando la pelea. Because Laura leads with his kidney. And uh, that was the plan, to constantly go to the body, to wear him down, to slow him down, then start bringing the punches up top. And it happened just like that. Lara goes down for the first time in his career. You're watching Countdown to Canelo Angulo. Well, Canelo is at a point right now where every fight is about something. Every fight is means to answer some questions. So now the question to be asked is, how does Canelo deal with an opponent that is this strong? That punches this hard, that is this determined. That's what this fight is going to tell us. El gancho izquierdo de Canelo es un golpe que va a ser factor clave, porque si lo puede conectar bien, yo creo que Angulo nunca ha recibido un golpe como esos. Sí, porque es un peleador muy, muy frontal y si le tiras cinco golpes recibe siete. Es un peleador muy, muy franco que no tiene ninguna defensa. Lo único que hace es hacer esto. Entonces, eh, yo creo que, que tenemos mucha oportunidad de noquearlo siempre y cuando hagamos una pelea. feel very confident again being the younger guy being a guy who's a lot faster in re regards to the flurry of punches that he's capable of unleashing that that ultimately is going to rule the day <laughs> angulo's not going to back down and they're going to they're going to hammer him es un peleador peligroso que hay que estar muy atento sin ningún descuido porque Él puede cambiar el curso de la pelea de un solo golpe, entonces no puede haber descuidos para nada. Estar muy atento y, y si queremos ganar tenemos que estar muy atento y llegar bien preparado. When people hear Canelo versus Angulo live on Showtime pay-per-view, when people see the poster up on the wall and these two great warriors there, think action, decisive finishes, lightning and thunder, excitement, a can't-be-missed night of entertainment. Get ready for the MGM Grand to erupt. Since both guys are coming off a loss, this is a must-win night for either guy, and that makes it that much more exciting, that makes it that much bigger 
than any world championship, any belt would have been. Bueno, he enfrentado a, a todo el, a todo estilo, ¿no? A todo el estilo que hay en el boxeo he enfrentado. He enfrentado a peleadores fuertes, he enfrentado a peleadores eh, inteligentes que se saben mover y, y he enfrentado de todo, creo, ¿no? Y, y, y pues el 8 de marzo vamos a dar una gran pelea. Vamos a salir con la mano en alto primero, Dios. This card is an infomercial for the sport of boxing. This is the kind of card where you say, well, I'm ready to buy, but wait, there is more. Body shot knocks Lopez down. On Saturday, March 8th, Canelo Alvarez is back. The Mexican megastar takes on power-punching knockout artist Alfredo Angulo. They will meet in the middle of the ring and battle it out toe to Saturday, March 8th, live on pay-per-view. That same night, it's a super bantamweight slugfest when undefeated Leo Santa Cruz faces ferocious Christian Mijares for the super bantamweight world championship. Plus, undefeated Omar Figueroa faces relentless Ricardo Alvarez for the lightweight world championship. Alvarez is landing some big shots. It's all live from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, starting with champion Carlos Molina versus undefeated Jermal Charlo for the Junior Middleweight World Championship. Unbelievable! Yes, on Saturday, March 8th, boxing superstar Canelo Alvarez is back. Plus three world title fights all in one night. Molina versus Charlo. Figueroa versus Alvarez. Santa Cruz versus Mijares. And Canelo versus Angulo. Four toe to toe fights all in one night. Toe. Two. Toe. Saturday, March 8th, live on pay per view. Canelo is back. Canelo Alvarez warming. Powerhouse superstars Canelo Alvarez and Alfredo El Perro Angulo engage in the battle of a lifetime. And they are exchanging leather in the center of the ring. In this match, there's only one way to fight. Toe. Ripping the body. Two. Right hand connects. Toe. And there is Canelo with a straight right. Canelo. Angulo. Don't miss it. Tickets on sale now. You're watching Countdown to Canelo Angulo. When we did the fight between Angulo and Lara, everybody was telling me, oh, what a mismatch, what a mismatch. Uh, Lara is one of the best, most skilled fighters and, you know, knows how to move and the, the, you know, the Cuban school of boxing and all of that. Well, he got dropped twice by Angulo. Oh, and the left hook drops Lara for the second time in the fight. Cadella has a lot of pressure on him. He has to win this fight if he's gonna maintain the status that they've gifted to him. So he's under a lot of pressure to have a showcase fight. And it's our job to take advantage of that pressure, and that's what we intend to do. Oh, that's it! <laughs> what a right hand by Angulo, right on the button. We have seen that Canelo bit off more than he can chew in Mayweather. Is he doing the same now with this power puncher, Angulo? A lot of fans are picking Angulo in this fight because of the sheer determination that he fights with. That and the puncher's chance. This is a guy who's never out of any fight, who never backs up, never quits, always comes forward. And when you have a guy like that, you just never know when the opponent will, will buckle under the pressure. I see Alfredo wearing Canelo down. I see him wearing him down. He, I believe he has stamina problems, and I believe he likes to take rest. I'm very aware of that, and when he wants to rest, we're not gonna let him rest. And I believe Alfredo's gonna wear him down until he succumbs. La única diferencia es de que yo he peleado con peleadores noqueadores. Él dice que que yo no voy a aguantar el poder de él. No lo sé. 
¿Qué tan duro pegue? No lo sé, pero no creo que, que, que vaya a pegar más duro que los peleadores que yo he enfrentado. En cambio, él nunca ha peleado con un peleador como yo. Esa es la diferencia. He knows what he's up against. He knows what this win means. Everything is on the line. This is it. Everything that he's worked for from the first time he walked in a boxing gym. Comes to March 8th. He knows. He's happy, he's motivated, his mind is made up. He's gonna be a tough man to beat that night. Very tough. He's been in these types of fights. Canelo hasn't been in make up his mind. He's gonna have to take this, take something to win the fight. He hasn't been that way yet. He's a young kid. There's been and Floyd gave him an education. This man can give him a beating. Canelo wanted to deliver a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle against the most exciting junior middleweight, and that is Alfredo Angulo. And that's what he told me, get it done, I got it done, and on March 8th, it's gonna be fireworks, it's gonna be excitement. I, I quite honestly don't know um, what the result is gonna be. Is it going to be Canelo's youth that wins out? Is it his speed and skill? Or is it the determination and power punching of, of Angulo? I'm not sure. It's, it's really a test of who is going to be able to impose their will on the other. Sí, esta es una de esas peleas que uno no se la puede perder porque no solo va a haber sangre, pero es por orgullo, es por el país, es por México. Arriba del cuadrilátero no respeto a nadie. Pues no sé, eso, eso ya lo veremos el 8 de marzo.